night of celebration. So now the moment you've all been waiting for. The pinnacle of recognition for wahine working in science. What's the most common misconception people have about surgeons? That they're arrogant and have poor bedside manner and they don't look like me. <laughs> Dr Jamie Lee Rahiri is a surgical registrar at North Shore Hospital. No my heart of my kite nei hohi pera ko um te hohi pera o Waitemata. How stressful is the job? Um, I don't know if I should say on TV, but <laughs> um, it's it's exactly as you would expect it to be. It's um, early hours, long days. The mahi we do, the types of cases can be quite complex, so it, it can be stressful. But if you love it, you love it, and you just kind of muck in and mahi o te mahi, really. And it's taken 15 years of training so far. What keeps you motivated? Keeps you going? Coffee, and <laughs> um, usually it's just the the understanding of the privilege of being able to treat people so intimately. So it's those little things every day that keep me coming back. Growing up, was being a doctor always on the cards? I was interested in it probably from when I was around ten years old, but that was because. It was quite a big thing to see a doctor, uh, especially in Tōroa. And then when I came to Auckland, my eyes were opened as to, like, well, doctors are everywhere. Um, they're not someone you just see every now and then. Jamie Lee Rahiri. She graduated with a medical degree in 2014. Probably could count on our hands who the uh, Māori women surgeons were, and I'd only ever heard of one. She then turned her focus to completing her PhD and Māori experiences of weight loss surgery. As a wahine who's battled weight issues myself on a personal level, I could really relate to many of the reasons why people would present for bariatric surgery. For me, it was just the amount of stigmatisation that were happening and certainly it was amplified if you were brown, big and poor. Yeah. And I just thought to myself, this is a wonderful opportunity to do right by our population, by our communities. It just affirms skinny privilege in our society. Being smaller and looking good. I mean, there's lots of research out there about the way you look and how you're treated and even how you're employed and paid. After her PhD, she began training as a surgeon with a focus on bariatrics. But she was still shocked at the culture. An example was when somebody had surgery overseas and needed surgery here for a complication. The comment made was, you know, looking down on this person anaesthetised, saying, you know, well, they've done this to themselves. I was amazed. I was like, really? 2025? And we've got a person already vulnerable, asleep, so they can't defend themselves. So that those attitudes are real and they're happening. What's one thing you would tell Wahine Māori about the surgery? That it's your choice and you owe nobody an explanation. Um, nobody an explanation. She's passionate about bringing change for Māori and public health. Is our healthcare system equitable? Is there equity there? No. Mm -mm. Mm. Not at all. For Māori, we know our um, life expectancy is, is lower. Racism presents itself in many ways. How racist is it? How much racism are you trying to cut through? Perhaps people aren't being so overtly racist in front of me anymore, but when I was at the start of my journey, it was everywhere. It would be throwaway comments from my colleagues. Now I wonder if they're just holding their tongue in front of me. Her work has culminated in awards for her research and leadership. But to get here, it's taken a lot of sacrifice. Hey, Aquila. And I think when you have three young daughters watching you, you have to try and be a good role model for them as much as possible. Nah, it's all a rush in the morning. It's <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, get in the car. They would say, Dad and Nan run the house around here and you just turn up when you turn up. Oh, that's cute. Her husband, Jason, is also a doctor, and together they're raising their young tamahine. To help, they've moved in with Jamie Lee's mum. We went from a household of two to seven, so I think the biggest adaption is always going to be space and roles. 
I was a grandmother, but also a co-parent. I just turn up to work, do, do good mahi, come home, but the other ones that really keep home steady, and that's a harder job to do. Do I get free medical care? <laughs> no. <laughs> I get a lot of advice, though. <laughs> Good advice. Oh, yeah, good advice and some that I take and don't um, yeah. take. <laughs> Never treat your own family. That's <laughs> it's, it's actually medical law. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Lee's work is now being given international recognition. She's travelling to Melbourne to receive a prestigious honour, the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Award. What's it like to go from getting in your scrubs the other day and now you're full glam? No kute waimari e te tū ki tēnei whenua, ki ahi te radio. Um, so I'm really lucky to be here. And this is so different. I'm not anywhere near this and probably everyone at work will be like, she does not look like that. <laughs> so it's just special and something different. She's receiving the award for her exceptional research and contribution to the field of science. I think it's only good to collaborate with other women in the field of science, for their, whatever their co-papa is. So it's a very important day. Alex Davison is the CEO of L'Oreal Australia and New Zealand. The importance of having the right gender balance has been proven in science, so we are working to, to redress that. But it just shows how cutting edge all of the female scientists are here tonight. It's well known that you can't be what you can't see and therefore a lack of, of, of role models for, for aspiring female scientists is, all, is part of the problem as well. But tonight, Jamie Lee is being celebrated for being a leader for Wahine. I'm very, very honoured to introduce our incredible fellows to the stage. Can you please join me in welcoming Dr Jamie Lee Rahiri. <laughs> Jamie Lee somehow magically balances being a surgeon and a mother of three, and she used to represent New Zealand in canoeing. All those things sound really great, but I'm really lucky I've got an amazing husband who's a GP. Not once have I ever been told, no, you can't do that. Um, so I'm, I'm the lucky one. Dame Margaret Brimble is one of Aotearoa's most renowned and celebrated chemists. I was overwhelmed with I'm just such She's such a good scientist. Dame Margaret was on the judging panel for the awards. She's a clinician, works really long hours in the hospital. She does fantastic research, so she's a researcher, and she has three children. That's the, the power of her as a person, that she is so well-rounded. From the University of Auckland, Dr Jamie Lee Ranieri. The night's celebrations completed with a haka from her husband. I just feel really privileged that I can be doing what I really want to do and hopefully can get more people like me from Tokoro and other places to come through and do what they want to do in medicine. For more Hui content, subscribe to our YouTube channel.